you don't want instability in this region. You want stability. And the only way you're going to have stability is if you've got the same kind of key players that have been dealing with this kind of thing uh, from the very beginning. Uh, and, and that's what we have. And so if you remove the United States out of that, uh, hey, that's not going to make it more secure or more stable. In fact, it will, it will be just the opposite. Uh, now, you know, that is subject to all kinds of, of political types of debate. Uh, but, you know, that's nice. But, but you need calm heads uh, like the United States, like China, like Russia, or whatever, when it comes to nuclear weapons that have the safeguards there, that have demonstrated for decades a willingness to talk if things got too close to being stupid. Uh, and I think that that's... Um, and we've been exercising uh, that f from the very beginning. You know, my first look at uh, the Korean Peninsula was over a pair of jump boots uh, before I landed in a peanut field in Yoju, South Korea, uh, on a team spirit in the late 1980s. You know, we, we, and that's just my experience. We've been there a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my dad's regiment, uh, 179th Infantry, uh, served in Korea in 53. Um, you know, we, we've had an environment uh, like this for a long time. But the commitment since our initial cross signals in the late 40s have been very, very consistent ever since. And, and for us to remove that would not create stability. Uh, my argument is, is that it would, it would destabilize on a scale that perhaps we could not control.